A court in South Africa has ruled that the former president, Jacob Zuma, can run in next month's parliamentary elections. He had challenged an earlier decision by the Electoral Commission, which barred him from standing due to a contempt of court conviction. Zuma is representing a new political party after denouncing the governing African National Congress that he once led. We have Hajra Omarji, who's a political editor with Business Day. That's a national daily newspaper in South Africa, joining us from Johannesburg to discuss this. Thanks for your time. So I was taking a look at your newspaper at the website, and this obviously is a breaking news story. Um, was this decision expected at all? Well, good afternoon. It was certainly not expected. Uh, it's my 20th year of service as a journalist in South Africa, and Jacob Zuma continues to leave us in shock and awe, as he did during his nine years as president of South Africa. South Africa is really as at a crossroads. It is a watershed moment in South Africa's democracy, uh, which reaches 30 years in a, a few days' time. Okay, uh, we'll get into uh, the watershed moment in a moment. But just first, I mean, how how is this decision uh, being explained, particularly after Zuma was banned from yeah. running in these elections? So first, we got a court order saying uh, that the court upheld uh, Zuma's appeal of the IEC, that's the Electoral Commission's decision, to bar him because the highest court in the land sentenced him to 15 years in 15 months in jail for being in contempt of court. We now understand that decision a little bit better because the court, uh, Jacob Zuma's lawyers argued before the court that he only served three months uh, of that 15-month uh, sentence and thus the 15-month sentence is rendered irrelevant. We always knew this was going to be a very litigious um, uh, election in South Africa, which with every decision by the IEC and every result contested, and it is certainly proving uh, to be that way. So what is at stake for this election, and what's at stake mm -hmm. for the country? Well, if you see previous election results, uh, the ANC has been in sharp decline. Uh, it is the first time since our democratic transition in 1994 that the ANC could potentially drop below that 50 percent majority. Jacob Zuma being on the ballot, being the former leader of the governing ANC, the former president of South Africa, in court on charges of corruption, uh, said to be the architect of state capture in South Africa, put South Africa at a crossroads because ordinary South Africans will now have to look at the ballot with Jacob Zuma's face being on the ballot in this parliamentary election representing the MK party, the Mkonto Wesizwe party, and must decide who best represents the South Africa that they want to live in. We've come a long way in 30 years since apartheid, but we could have been a lot further now and South ordinary South Africans must now decide on May 29th what is the South Africa uh, they want and who do they want to lead it. Do they want Jacob Zuma? Do they want the governing ANC? Or do they want to give smaller opposition parties uh, a, a, a chance? Look, um, who, uh, how much political weight does, Ju does Zuma uh, still yield mm -hmm. in South Africa? And also, you talk about South Africans having to make decisions. What's, what are sort of the... Um, the most important issues for South Africans as they stand today? Well, cost of living is a big issue in South Africa. The price of eggs, the price of cheese, the price of milk have been soaring in the last 10 years. It doesn't help that due to state capture, which happened under Zuma's term, uh, state-owned enterprises, which keep the lights on, which ensure our water supply, have literally been run to the ground and are struggling to keep afloat, let alone keep the lights on. But what is at stake for South Africa is the South Africa that we want to live in and who best, best represents that. Is it Jacob Zuma? And I can tell you, opposition parties thought not in 2009 when Zuma went to an election and he won 66 percent uh, as the face of the ANC's campaign in that election. However, due to years of corruption, we also saw the ANC's vote drop with Jacob Zuma being the face it is now a crossroads moment for the country, a watershed moment uh, for the country. And then there's also the context about liberation movements on the continent and governing parties at the 30-year mark. It's, it's certainly going to be one to watch, and it could, could very well decide this election result 
will decide the fate of Africa's biggest economic powerhouse and a big uh, uh, player on the economic stage, even in the, in the Israel-Gaza matter, uh, the fate of South Africa. So it's going to be an uh, interesting one. To and watch. it's one we, and will, you, we will be watching. Time in, thank you so much, Hasra Omarji. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll have to leave it there. We've run out of time, but thank you. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.